Hi guys, this is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. BKM Institute. Today we are going to discuss a very special reading and it is a tough one as well, but this reading again will teach us the best method of OET, which is known as elimination. Again, I'm telling you guys, I understand, sir, my reading is not improving. It's taking time. I understand, but please try and understand one thing. If you want to learn from the best institute of the world, having 10 years of experience, and being myself, who have been teach, who has been teaching since last eleven years, you have to listen to it very carefully. Don't tell your mind what you think about. Means when you already have something in your mind, you cannot learn new things. To learn new things, please do not think anything. Just listen to what I am saying. This is the easiest method of OET reading. That is known as elimination method. So I am doing question number one, two. We'll try to record as many as I can and how to go about the questions in the exam. I always say don't do all the questions in the first shot. I am doing the first question, then I will tell you which questions to leave. In the first paragraph, what reason for the misdiagnosis of carbon monoxide poisoning is highlighted? So the two important words are there. What reason? Reason means why. Why carbon monoxide poisoning misdiagnosis happens? What is the reason for the misdiagnosis? So the if if first of all make question easy in your head. So the easy thing in this question is to understand what is the reason of misdiagnosis. That means carbon monoxide diagnosis is not done in a right way. What is the main reason that is highlighted? Highlighted is the second second important word. So what is the reason? Let's go to this. Uh, let's go to this paragraph. So this is one of the toughest reading will take time and I have to make you understood. Understand. Obviously it's going to be energetic. Uh, I need your energy. It's going to be little boring, but please focus. Carbon monoxide poisoning is the single most common source of poisoning injury treated in the U S hospital emergency department. While its presentation is not common. Now this is a complicated thing. Not uncommon means it is common. Not uncommon means common. So these are the things where reading play with you by making simple things complicated. So carbon monoxide, most common reason of poisoning injury. While its presentation is common, its presentation means people present with this kind of carbon monoxide poisoning. The diverse symptoms that manifest themselves do not lead most clinicians to consider carbexo immunoglobia when attempting to diagnose diagnosis. Again, the keyword of my question was again, please understand the keyword was diagnosis, misdiagnosis. So that is exactly this word is most clinicians, most clinicians consider carboxy hemoglobinemia, whatever, when attempting a diagnosis. Do not word is also there. That means clinicians do not consider this diagnosis. So that is where the misdiagnosis. Here is my keyword. So while its presentation is common, the diverse symptoms. So my answer is diverse symptoms. Diverse symptoms means multiple symptoms. So now I had the question. This is how simple OAT reading is when you understand. I had the question. What is the reason of misdiagnosis? Diverse symptoms. The symptoms can be mistaken for those of many other illnesses. That means symptoms can be mistaken of other illnesses like food poisoning, migraine. So that is why misdiagnosis happens because the symptoms are similar to other diseases and symptoms are diverse. That means there are a lot of other symptoms which happen like vomiting, headache. So you get confused what exactly is happening. So now if I go to question number one, that is how easy it is. It I have to explain you. That is why I take time. The limited experience eliminated. Nobody is talking about experience. They are talking about clinicians, but they are not talking about experience. I will tell you. They are saying, if you understand the paragraph, that is what reading is all about. Just understanding. Do not lead most clinicians. They are not talking about experience at all. So again, a op so only one word can help you elimination. So in this 
experience word eliminated the wide variety of symptoms this is the direct question i can easily do b my job is over i don't want to do any okay done the wide variety of symptoms associated with it done question number 1 done so this question should be done in the first round second question in the second paragraph <clears throat> the writer stresses the danger of delays in diagnosing leading to now this question is a big question so till the time you do not understand the question do not attempt it try to understand the question the writer stresses that danger of delays in diagnosis so if you delay the diagnosis it can lead to what can be and danger means negative tone that if the diagnosis is delayed something negative happens let's see what happens let's see what happens take it easy again one by one what's more in an attempt to find the causative agent for the symptoms many unnecessary and sometimes resource intensive diagnostic may be ordered to no avail this line is a very complicated complicated line again i am telling you you will never have question in the answer in the complicated lines if the answer is in the complicated line that means it is a tough question you should leave it so first line should not have the answer if it is an easy question because my question was delayed diagnosis can lead to what for example because the symptoms of carbon monoxide may mimic an intracranial bleed the time needed to obtain a negative result may hold up a proper diagnosis as well as need increasing healthcare cost so they are saying it can lead to increase healthcare cost the time needed to obtain the negative result first may hold up to proper diagnosis as well as needlessly increasing the healthcare one negative thing is increasing the healthcare cost of even greater concern now this is the main concern that is where it changes the first concern was healthcare cost and the time time to obtain two negative thing but of even greater concern however is that during such delays now here is my keyword again during such delays patients may find that their symptoms abate and their health improves now you say sir i don't know the meaning of abate but please understand the line their symptoms abate and their health improves if the health is improving then obviously symptoms are getting less symptoms are subsiding again may find that their symptoms abate and their health improves as the hidden culprit carbon monoxide is flushed from the blood during the normal ventilation patterns means by the time diagnosis is done carbon monoxide gets out of the body because patient breathes he takes oxygen carbon monoxide is gone now if you will test you will never find the carbon carbon monoxide because carbon monoxide is gone so delay diagnosis lead to disappearing of carbon monoxide again i will show you of even greater concern is that during such delays symptoms disappear and health improves as the carbon dioxide is flushed from the blood so it's gone now if i go to the options so first is carbon dioxide flushing second reason can be negative reason can be symptoms improve symptoms disappear but that is again not the main thing the main negative thing is that you will not be able to diagnose because carbon monoxide is gone in the second paragraph the writer stresses that the danger of delays leading to inefficient use of scarce resources nothing like that said is given certain symptoms being misinterpreted they are not saying that symptoms will be misinterpreted nothing like that has been given a deterioration in the patient condition they were saying health improves again i will show you c option can confuse you but it's very simple they were saying of even a patient may find that symptoms abate and their health improves and c option says health deteriorates so opposite again eliminated certain symptoms misinterpreted word is not given inefficient use of not given evidence of poisoning disappear what is the evidence carbon monoxide so if you will delay the diagnosis it can lead to disappearance of carbon monoxide that means 
doctor will never be able to diagnose because carbon monoxide is gone. It is now not in blood. How would you diagnose? So that is they want to say. Difficult question should be left in the exam in the first round. Please understand this question was very easy. Variety of symptoms easy. This question was difficult. You can, you can leave it in the first round to save your time. But if you are good at elimination, then this is the one. One more question I will do in this recording. Because only word is given. Only word normally I say elimination. But when it is given in the question, I don't know. The 67 year old man's carbon monoxide poisoning was only successfully diagnosed as a result of. So in the 67 year old man, carbon monoxide was diagnosed. How? As a result of means how, how it was diagnosed. Let's see. It will take time. Second question, if you will see first question was very easy. It did not take a second. Second question, if it comes in your exam, please save your time. Do it later. Now and delivered. Please try to read these lines only. Delivered is given in this line. So try to focus on the lines which has the keyword. Don't read it unnecessarily. Don't read it. That is where you save your time. When people say I am unable to manage time, this is because they are reading this extra information without any use. So read only the key lines. Now my main question is how did a diagnosis in 67 year old man happen? So take the case of I don't want to read this line but at least to know I will read it once. Multiple reports have shown that patients being discharged and returned to the very environment where exposure to CO2 took place. Take the case of 67 year old man who sought medical help after three days of vertigo, stabbing chest pain, cough, chills. So he was having problems. He was admitted passive voice. That is what I teach you in writing. Voice plus third form. He was admitted by the hospital, by us because we are nurses and doctors. He was admitted he was evaluated and he was discharged with a diagnosis of viral syndrome. 10 days later, he returned. Returned means now there is no was active. He returned by himself. Now it is active. That is what is the difference between passive and active. He was admitted passive. He returned active. Apne aap aaya. He came by himself. He returned to ED with vertical palpitation but was sent home for outpatient follow -up. Four days later, he presented again with diarrhea and severe chest pain collapsing to the floor. This time, he was admitted to coronary care unit with acute myocardial infarction. Among the results of the routine arterial blood gas analysis there, it was found that his carboxyhemoglobin levels were 15.6. A carboxyhemoglobin level then obtained on his wife was 18.1. A rusted furnace was found to be the source. Now this is a very complicated, very complicated story. Question was, again, let me, this is again difficult question, but let's see what are the options. Carbon monoxide poisoning was only successfully diagnosed as a result of what? Was successfully diagnosed. The two main th thing I can say, when during the coronary care unit, routine arterial blood gas analysis showed carboxyhemoglobin. That is where one. And then the second, his wife also had the low level. That is where it was confirmed. When husband has carboxyhemoglobin, wife also has carboxyhemoglobin. They are sleeping in the same room. They are sleeping in the same room. That is where it was confirmed that they are having this problem rather than viral infection or acute myocardial infarction. Again, little typical. Attending an outpatient clinic, no. His wife being similarly affected, yes. Undergoing test as an inpatient can be true because that is where he went for arterial blood. It was an inpatient thing. He's suggesting the probable cause, no. So now I am confused between B and C. His wife being similarly affected can also be the thing undergoing test as an impatient. So now this is again a complicated question. It is even more complicated than second question because in second question, scarce resources, misinterpreted, 
deterioration i could eliminate this was elimination method now my elimination method is not happening in this so the only thing that can help me is wife being similarly affected because she also had this and undergoing test as an inpatient that is where she went for he went for arterial so now this is a tough question but the main reason i think that has been given is it was found this a carboxy hemoglobin then obtained on his wife was this a rusted furnace was so basically they are they are actually saying wife and husband had the both had the similar hmm now please understand rather than b the answer can be c now i will unmute you please help me to find this answer and i really want your help but i am doing c as an answer let's see what is the answer can you please guide me question number 1 have i done it right c sir c sir c first question number 1 right the answer is c first question number 1 right or wrong question number 1 100% b right. yes sir question number second uh, 100% d yes sir yes sir now yes, now i am teaching again i am putting you on mute to teach you the best thing best thing best thing now this is if you if you guys whosoever is taking my youtube session who is not part of dr bkm institute this is the last of the reading i can teach last of the readings man this is the summary what i want to teach you when you are left up with two options i was left up with two option now again my answer got correct i was about to do b but my question got correct because i used elimination method i will tell you how please listen to this his wife being similarly affected that means his wife had similar symptoms similarly affected means same symptoms affected means she must have some effect but can you read in this line that does his wife has any effect no it is just carbon carboxy hemoglobin level is 18.1 but his wife is not affected she is not similarly affected she is not having vertigo she is not having headache she is not having so that is again when the question was tough i persisted with my elimination method that his wife was not similarly affected that is how you do oet reading for the tough questions This is Dr. Bupesh from Dr. B K M Institutes. Please subscribe our channel if you have not, and that is where I started the reading video. If you will keep on thinking your way, how would you improve? It's not. Please see when the answer was right, everybody got happy. Oh, sir, it's C, it's C. That is not reason to be happy. The reason to be happy is how did we reach to C? When I was confused between B and C, then again I read. his wife similarly affected then i got confused like was his wife affected then i came to know no it was he was having symptoms his wife was not affected at all she was having carboxy hemoglobin but she was not affected so that was the thing and also there was a difference between 15.6 and 18.1 so i was overthinking if i use the elimination till the end then this becomes the most appropriate method of oet reading thank you very much this is dr bupesh from dr bkm institutes please subscribe our channel if you have not our contact number is +9176967342563 thank you